Hi there, Capricorn. Hope you guys are doing good. We are doing an energy check-in, July 2023. In a couple of days, I'll have the August 2023 readings up. So be looking for that as well. Not all of these messages here will resonate with you here, Capricorn. So only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Messages of light and love come forward here for Capricorn spirit. What do they need to know? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. What's going on with you, Capricorn? The star, Aquarius energy. What else here for Capricorn spirit? The high priestess. Wow. That one wanted to come out. The sun. We've got three major arcana here. Bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man, the emperor, and the ten of wands. I feel that there's some worry here in terms of your either a job situation or something that you're, you've been working towards. It's not showing up for you. Um, that there's like this energy of trying to control your outcome. But from what I'm seeing here in this reading so far, things are working behind the scenes to bring in something here that you are needing or desiring. You have a wish that you've put out into the universe. It's coming into fruition for you. It's just taking a little time. Um, you may have felt like you've put a lot of work into something here. With this emperor energy here, the hanged man, the emperor, and the ten of wands under the deck tells me that something that you've been working really hard on, something that you've really been trying to control an outcome towards, maybe feeling like it's not showing up. It's coming in, maybe not in the way that you expect, but it's showing up here with the sun card. Let's see though, let's get some clarity. We have the Hierophant Taurus energy. Lots of major arcana on the table for your reading. And then we have another one here, the Fool. Eight of Cups. Page of Wands is explaining this High Priestess energy. A new pathway is opening up for you here. Capricorn is just taking a little time. Two of Cups, a contract, possibly a commitment if this is a relationship reading for you. If this is a job or a business reading for you, there's a contract coming forward here. The Moon card and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a lot of money showing up here. It's just not in view for you just yet, okay? Something here that you're going to be very, very excited about. You may feel that there's pressure from a person or from possibly even bills or debts that you have that might be kind of giving you a hard time. <laughs> or there may be some worry or doubt that, that you're going to be able to cover these debts. But um, this is showing up for you. Someone here may be putting pressure on you a bit. But it's showing up um, with the moon and the ten of pentacles here. It's just not coming to fruition just yet. But it's just the right opportunity for you. Something that's going to set you up with long-term potential. Page of Wands. Something that's more, that's designed for you. So while you may have been trying to control an outcome or thinking that it should unfold in a certain way. Perhaps it's a certain type of job that you're seeking out. Um, something different than what you expect may be showing up here, um, but it's coming in divine timing as well. Some of you here may have had a breakup here recently, and it's showing me that there's a new wave of commitment. Someone here is wanting to start over with you. 
But I feel like for some of you here, detaching from this individual will bring in this wish fulfillment for you. Because there is someone here that was holding you back. Perhaps an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius energy here. A lot of effort put into this connection has been keeping you stuck. So for some of you, you're having to let go of this person to bring in this new wish fulfillment here. Something about someone wanting commitment from you. Feels to me like there's some parts or pieces of your life that needed to be pulled together before you were able to really come into alignment with this individual. Okay. I just feel like there was some worry or some stress behind trying to accomplish something. And there may have been someone else, like a partner or a friend or even a, could be a roommate, could be a, your relationship, putting some pressure on you to make something happen. Um, but it's showing up here in divine timing with the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. And that is your outcome. Why is the sun card here, spirit? The Hanged Man and the Page of Cups. So for some of you there, there may have been children that you're trying to focus on or taking care of responsibilities. There may be some things that you're taking care of um, that needed to be taken care of. Maybe some things that have been put to the side. For example, doctor's appointments, um, old outstanding debts, um, could be, you know, parking tickets even. There's some things that have been kind of sitting in the background um, that have needed your attention for quite some time. Taking care of those those items are, is really what you've been working toward. And so I'm seeing here that those little corners of your life that were kind of left unattended are now being taken care of. And it's so it's bringing you into this hanged man bringing you out, I should say, of this hanged man energy. Um, some of you are dealing with perhaps a child or somebody younger than you, maybe even an immature energy that was pulling on your energy, attached to your energy perhaps, draining you in some way. You're taking your control back here, putting the past in the past, and able to really focus on your future. And that's what this new pathway is coming in for you here. Someone here has a renewed commitment toward a relationship as well. Something that's long-term and is going to make you very, very happy. I just feel like a lot of it has to do with actual finances as well. So if there's been a struggle in terms of your financial situation, you've been trying to force a square peg into a round hole is the image I'm receiving here. And so... Things are starting to come into alignment for you in a way that's going to be very fruitful for you. And it has to do with letting go of control and also allowing it to flow towards you. You've put your wishes out into the universe and they're starting to come into fruition for you. Again, maybe not in the way that you expect, but something that here that's going to make you very, very happy. Something that's going to make you feel like you're not stuck any longer put a lot of work into whatever this is that hasn't really paid off so you're having to really switch gears we have a nine of pentacles so this is you taking the bull by the horns on your own stepping into this independence and taking care of it yourself I feel like for some of you there there was a controlling energy or somebody who was really kind of dictating how things should play out in your life perhaps a partner of yours um wanting something from you and they weren't getting it from you and you're really having to step into your power here and, and say say to them give them you know the boundaries of what you're working on what you're moving towards and you may have not met their expectations in some way but you're not here to fulfill everyone else's expectations you're here to follow your own divine path so it feels like a little bit of a headbutting kind of struggle is what I'm seeing here between you and this person. 
I feel like this person feels like they had to carry some kind of load in regards to you, but they're needing to focus on themselves as well. You're focused on you. They are focused on them, but you're definitely feel we're feeling this pressure from whoever this person was and you're kind of detaching from it because you realize that their energy wasn't helping your situation. It was only really preventing you from getting to where you really need to be. You're following your own path here. I feel like somebody here was hiding, hiding from you their true feelings, possibly even their frustrations, possibly even their wanting something from you sooner, a commitment from you sooner. But you needed to have your ducks in a row before you're really going to able to give this person what they're asking for. And really, this is showing me taking care of yourself first, putting yourself first, then you're able to give this person what they want. But in the meantime, yeah, I just feel like somebody here is agitated <laughs> that things haven't been playing out the way that they wanted it to. Um, but again, this is your journey. This is your path here. What do we have? Let me pull from another deck. We're going to get some advice. What advice do we have here for Capricorn? Guys, go check out my Etsy channel. Channel. Go check out my Etsy shop. And I also have the links to my social media down in the description. I've got a bunch of candles and jewelry and stuff like that. So go check it out. What advice do we have here for Capricorn? Some of you have some goals here that I'm picking up that you may have needed to keep to yourself of what you're working towards, what you're working on, because there may have been some doubt from a person around you thinking that maybe you weren't going to be successful in a certain way or that you were maybe putting your energy towards something that wasn't going to pay off. Um, so you're really having to keep kind of quiet about what you're working on. Because someone else's doubt can bring, um, can, can really kind of thwart your plans. So you're just kind of keeping it to yourself. We have the judgment card here. So you may feel some level of guilt about something here. Nine of Wands. Somebody may be make, trying to make you feel some level of guilt. But you're really stepping into your fear here. Taking ownership of your own outcome. Letting go of this guilt. We have an Ace of Swords here. You really had some, some clarity come to you. Keep following your gut instincts and where, where you feel like you're supposed to go here. That's what you're working on. Following this divine inspiration, Ace of Swords. Following your heart. A new idea may be coming forward as well. You just may have to step into a little bit of fear to make this happen. Perhaps some of you here are feeling like that if you take this step, it's not going to fulfill someone's expectation of you. That's what I'm getting. Whatever plan you have going forward, someone has doubts. Um, but I do feel like You've had this this idea that's that's coming forward. It's going to make you very happy. I do feel like it's going to help other people as well. So there's a lot of um, a good energy put into whatever this is. So there may have been some issues in your past where you felt like you needed to give more to a situation. Spirit is asking you to let go of that guilt. Let go of where you felt like you should have been better in a situation where you should have, you're thinking I should have done this or that and I would have been farther along than I am now. Spirit is asking you to let that go. If you're creating some kind of a product or invent, um, building something that you feel like a product that can sell, whether it's a digital or a physical like tangible product item 
this idea has come to you. Um, you're in this creative energy of exploring what that is and kind of following your heart and your hobbies in that way. And I think that's what spirit is showing you. That's really good. Um, we're here to be creative. We're here to do something different. Um, and if you feel inspired by something that's really getting your attention, you're being asked to follow it, even though it may be somebody else w won't think it's going to be successful. There's a lot of money showing up here as well with this Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to start making this money and kind of keeping it quiet in terms of how much you're bringing in the door. And that's really helping you in your success going forward. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. Hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.